to Live Look at Las Vegas Boulevard as the F1 paving project continues to impact traffic. Paving began late last night at the corner of Harmon and Las Vegas Boulevard. It's set to block west and eastbound traffic until Friday at 9 a.m. And today, Clark County Commissioners met to discuss the funding for the paving project as the company in charge is now requesting financial help. But with the project currently underway, who is paying for F1 paving? Fox 5's Shauna Kalafi is one step closer to getting an answer to the question that we have been asking for months. The resolution that was passed today creates a public-private partnership with Formula One and Clark County, but it doesn't necessarily bind the county to any certain amount of contribution towards the repaving project. It just allows negotiations for that funding to move forward. Liberty Media, owner of the Formula One group, says that so far they've been funding the paving project on the Strip, but now they're asking the county to pitch in. The expected total cost of just the improvements on the county right of way along with the safety mechanisms that are necessary for the circuit is approximately $80 million and we would ask that the county share half of that or whatever number ultimately would be negotiated. But with the paving project already well underway and the race just months away, some commissioners are asking, why now? I get that they're already here. In fact, I've talked to one of our colleagues here who said right up front, why are we paying anything? They already agreed to come. F1 representatives say that this is a request, not an obligation for the county to pay a certain amount. The reasoning is that the paving improvements will benefit the county long term, even after the race is over. But not everyone is on board with that $40 million amount that they're requesting. What's $40 million? Well, I'll tell you what, in our capital budget, that's a lot. That's somebody's parks. That's somebody's recreation center. That's some building that has duct tape on the carpet because we haven't made it a priority. With all that we're trying to do, especially in the, in the, in the human services field and, and, and the housing uh, crisis that we find ourselves in, I would support it moving forward for a conversation, but I cannot definitely say that, you know, if it comes back at $40 million that I'll be um, there. That resolution passed today with four yes votes, moving negotiations forward to determine how much the county will ultimately contribute to the F1 paving project. And the chairman of the commission also emphasizing that this event is the first of its kind for Las Vegas, taking place on public county-owned streets. Reporting from The Strip, Shauna Kalafi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.